Hey guys, here's another step for the movie poster series. Continuing with our poster series, we have been taking steps to integrate Zero into our poster. So far he's looking pretty good, but he definitely needs a lot more work to be properly integrated. So the next step for doing that is adding a shadow. I've seen a lot of ways on how to do this, but to me the best methods are the simplest ones, and I'm going to show you a really simple one. So, we're going to select our layer zero, or the smart object, and press the FX button at the bottom of the layers panel. And I'm going to select drop shadow. We want to, we want to change our drop shadow size to about 18 pixels. And make sure there's no distance or spread, because it really does not matter. And press OK. Now I want you to right click on the little FX button on the layer and select create layer and press OK. Now we go up to edit, transform, skew and we have the ability to change our shadow. Now generally you want to move the shadow to make sure that you're going in the direction that the shadow from the sun is casting. And you can generally reference that by looking at the other parts of the image to see where the sun is coming from. So I don't really don't want it to be too big. So that looks pretty good. I'm gonna add a little bit of blur to it. Okay, I'm gonna add more blur to it. That's pretty good. I like that. And I'm going to drop the opacity to 50%. Well, maybe a little bit more. Maybe 70%. Too much, so we'll try 60%. And let's just see what Phil does. And Phil helps too. And there we go. We got a pretty good shadow. But there is shadow missing from the bottom of his shoes, which is really going to help integrating his image into the poster. So for the next video, I'm going to show you how you can use the brush tools to do that.